guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. I've gotten a lot of the stuff out of the way, so now we got to take a look at a bunch of the characters um, that now have access to 200% leader skills for the first time. Um, I think that Goku and Gohan, you know, their 200% leader skill, it doesn't... There's not a ton of units that now have access to the 200% who are really good who didn't have it before. But Cell has a really impressive leader skill, right? Android slash Cell Saga and Power Absorption 170%, and then Androids get the extra 30%. Quite honestly, I want to do 200% videos focusing on the tech androids in 19 and 20. Um, maybe like the LR physical androids, potentially in LR Cell, physical LR Cell. There's a lot of characters I do want to cover under this 200% leader skill, right? Um, you know, sort of seeing what some of these characters are able to do when they get, you know, sort of the extra stats from the new meta. Now, Android 17 and 18 are far and away the one of the best units in the game. If you guys recall, um, you know, when they came out, I was gushing about them. They're like nothing, like no TUR is close to them. Super Saiyan 3 Goku came out. It's like, yeah, he's super good. I still like the androids better. I was telling people this, right? Um, the reason is because the androids are doing so much, right? <clears throat> that is like, number one, going to age well. And number two, going to play very good in difficult content. Um, they do seal from their super attack effect. Um, <clears throat> they nullify enemy key blast supers if they have over 35% HP, which it, right now, the three hardest phases in the game, Into Omega, STR AoE Broly, and AGL Broly, all three of them are key blast super attacks. So the androids cuck the three hardest phases in the game. They shut that shit down completely. Broly and Omega can't really do shit to them, right? Like, they just completely lock it down. And then they also have this Ghost Usher right here, which is insanity. The condition on this is very good. Um, you could do this if there's one enemy who has over 35% HP, or um, if there's three or more enemies. A very powerful condition, and it's a Ghost Usher. Again, Think of them in the most difficult content where it really matters. AoE Broly? Nope. Bitch, you're not doing that. I, we're just going to go sush you. Not happening. You could do it against Omega. You could do it like all of these red zone stages. You could do it in extreme super battle road stages. You could do it in battlefield, right? Like they're so dumb. I, the only TUR I think I'd put in front of them is Captain Ginyu. And even then, I feel like I could make a good case of the androids being number one. This unit over the last couple months was so underrated. It was just hard to properly assess them and judge them because they weren't really on any teams at all, right? No teams that you're going to run were they on. Now they're on a very legitimate team, the Android has Cell Saga team, or you know, just the Android team, um, and they are the best unit on the team, I think, easily. Uh, to me, their performance is way above what Cell is doing. Cell is really good. I don't, like, really have a lot to criticize about him but the androids are just different. Let's just pop this active skill right here. We can sort of hear the voice acting and stuff like that. <laughs> what? We got the cord during the active skill. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> Why did it? <laughs> What? もう一気に終わらせちゃうよ、17号。慌てるなよ。もっとじっくりやろうぜ。あっさり全滅させてしまったんじゃ。俺たちの楽しみはなくなってしまうんだぞ。Bam. Okay, looking pretty good. Um so, a Ghost Usher effect, of course, is going to be one of the strongest things in the game. Uh, if we're going to talk negatives for the androids, it is uh, their reliance on orbs, right? So, I mean, just quickly reading their passive and then we'll get going. 170% um, attack, 180% defense at the start of turn. They do create tech key spheres. They get 35% attack and defense per tech key sphere. And then 18% attack, 17% defense per non-tech key sphere. Um, then they get an additional 70% attack with 7 key spheres and 80% defense with 8 key spheres. So essentially, 
they are really feasting off of getting as many orbs as possible. If you have a bad turn with orbs, you know, defensively, offensively, they could definitely look not that impressive. Um, but, you know, they are doing so much else that you probably would be okay anyway. All right, so here's a nice 10 orbs right here. We have support with Android 18. That's going to put him at 500k defense. Yes, that's uh, quite good, obviously. Um, with 500k defense and them super attacking first, because they get 30% attack and defense on their 12 key, and then they seal, um, they would be taking double-digit damage from even the most powerful boss in the game, in Omega Shenron, who's type advantage over them. They take double digits from him. Um, if you put them in slot 1 before they super attack, I've had them take a lot of damage, 150k plus per normal from that in Omega. But, you know, if you're not putting them in slot 1 before they get super, they will be completely fine. Even tight disadvantage against, again, the hardest hitting boss in the game. Many of their good links we didn't have active right there. That attack set really wasn't too impressive. But it's like once you factor in everything else they're doing, their ability to lock these bosses down and how overly powerful they are. Um, I adore this unit. I love this unit. Now, I've done a lot of um, runs against Broly and Omega with both the Android team as well as uh, Goku and Gohan's team. A lot of it trying to get like sort of like no item runs and stuff like that. Um, I, at the end of the video, typically in these 200% videos, I take characters um, into red zone, right? Like that's typically the last half of the video. Uh, but for this, I, you know, I already have a bunch of accumulated footage, right? You know, showing them using their Ghost Usher to uh, stop Broly's AoE, blocking AGL Broly and, um, you know, AoE Broly super attacks with their nullification, you know, just doing a lot of things like that. Okay, this is a good turn right here um, to, to show for the video because we have, honestly, like, pretty bad orbs. This is something that can happen. Remember, one of the more important things for this character is that we do want to get them to eight orbs. That's very important because, remember, at eight orbs, they're getting an extra 80% defense, which really can be quite good. Um, so that... They're at 259k right at the start. Let me just grab these seven. Not even any tech orbs, right? So this is a pretty not great rotation. And they're still at 344 at that point right there, right? That is definitely looking very, very good. Like, without tech orbs, which they need. This was a good turn, though. A good example of how, you know, you could definitely get bad luck, right? And you don't get, like, a ton of tech orbs. And that can certainly slow them down from doing uh, good damage or having their super superior defense that they are uh, capable of putting up a lot as well. Um, all right, let's do a couple of runs. Again, I've got a lot of footage of them dominating the red zone we're definitely going to take a look at. Um, I, this right now, with all the utility, all the things they do, again, I only have Ginyu, I think, above this character. All right, we don't have a super great rotation right here. So, um, so let's just do... Let's do a little bit of shenanigans here. Let's see what the androids look like once we go ahead and change a lot of these tech orbs, right? Um, and make just a nice, delicious field for them to just sort of soak in the power. Um, there's still a lot of different rotations. I'm okay, so we're going to go from 224k. Let's see what we jump up to. And we get up to 852k. Okay, obviously that's pretty good. Remember, they're getting 30% from every super attack. Their link set is um, Android Assault, Organic Upgrade, Twin Terrors, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. Um, I mean, a lot of it is fine for the Android team. I think the worst link that they have that probably hurts them is definitely Dismal Future. This is not a character you're going to run, I feel like, on um, like the Future team, right? Like, this is not... They don't work well on Future because... They're like, individually, Future 17 and 18 don't have good characters. And then there's no cell on Future, right? Is, is there that one first form cell? Um, I think, like, if we look at Future, there's that one first form cell that's on there, right? The one that fights Trunks. But for the most part, androids don't really work on the Future category. So you're not really, like, using them there. So that's, that's probably their worst link. The rest of the links do work well um, in a lot of these sort of, like, android setups, right? So, all right, let's go and see what we get right here. We do have some support. Um, we have a couple of links with uh, Second Form Cell right here. For the most part, the, the, the Android team is completely built away from Cell, by the way, which is one reason that the Androids outperform Cell, I think, quite a bit, is because when it's time to take on difficult content where you have to be using strong units, 
there's not really another cell that you could safely bring to help sell out, right? So, uh, you know, the entire core of the Android team, it's like 19 and 20, you know, AGL 17 and Hellfighter 17, the AGL LR future 17 and 18. Well, they're not future, but, the, you know, 17 and 18. You have all of those type of characters, right? Are all the units that, like, you're, you're running on the Android team. None of those characters are really, like, great linking buddies with Cell or anything like that, right? Um, Cell wants, basically, other Cell characters. Um, and I feel like, you know, Android 13 and Android 21 potentially could be okay for him. Because um, they, you know, they're characters that would have big bad bosses. But, you know, LR, Super 17, for some reason no one can ever figure out, uh, Super 17 does not have big bad bosses. Only, like, the two, it's like the SR 17s that don't kind of awaken into an SR Super 17. They, <laughs> they have big bad bosses for some reason. Um, that would help out sell a lot if Super 17 had big bad bosses. Okay, so now we have a, a very strong turn. Eh. We don't really... I don't want to go too crazy with the orb changing on this turn. I, I do want to show, like, kind of a good setup for them, though. I'll just do this right here. So that's going to change the in orbs to tech. So we'll be able to get a couple of orbs right there. We'll be able to get... We can get 11 right there. Okay. So they go from 252k. Let's see what they're going to jump up defensively to 557 right there. Everything is active except for Organic Upgrade and Dismal Future. Again, Dismal Future is the worst link on this character. It's just something we're, like, never going to activate because you're just not running Future 17 and 18. The other thing about those free-to-play Future 17 and 18 cards they drop is that they need, like, another, like, Future 17 and 18, but this Dokkan Fest, like, doesn't count, right? So, that, which really sucks. Are you serious? What the hell is this? Okay. <laughs> All right, so then they're, they're at 9.6 right there with uh, 10 orbs. 10 orbs does happen here and there. I don't want to say that's, like, super frequent to get 10 orbs, but that's not, like, unbelievably unrealistic either, right? Getting 10 orbs. I think that is something that does happen um, on occasion. Um, all right, let's, let's, let's do a couple more runs. You know, I just want to get showing, like, a bunch of their stats and a bunch of different setups and stuff like that, but... I mean, it should be fairly obvious just how busted this character is, right? Nullifications are so uber powerful, especially against Key Blast, right? Um, they One other thing they can do is they can triple super, because they do launch a guaranteed additional super attack when HP is 35% or less when attacking. I did get this in a video recently. I got to find that, and I'm going to add it towards the end of this video. They do have that in their back pocket, but that's very rare, right? The triple super attack from them. Because you have to be under 35% HP when they attack. Um, at, and then, remember, for their nullification, they do have to be above 35% when they uh, get hit by it uh, in order to nullify it. Alright, guys. Let's get another run right here. Um, not particularly great with the orbs. So, I mean, th th this is going good, right? That we're seeing, um, you know, some turns of them not having great orb luck. I mean, typically, if we're doing, like, a difficult event, though, right... Depending upon what happens, 19 and 20, they usually want to go in slot 2 or slot 3, right, to super attack to get a lot of their defense. But if you're going up against a boss that a um, blast super attacks, we can put them in slot 1 as well. Let me not orb change. This is a really good turn, but we, we got completely shafted with orbs. Let me just do this. Let's see what they do. Um, they work really well with 19 and 20, but we barely got any orbs. Let me see what their attack stat is without orbs. I feel like it's good to get this variety of situations, right? We have turns where they have 10 orbs, you know, the whole field, but then also a turn like this. Damn, they're still a 5. That's just a 4 orbs. No tech orbs. What was it, 4 orbs? They're still at a 5 million attack stat? Like, at 5 million is not exactly great, but again, when you combine everything they do and how minimalistic of a situation I guess that is, like, not bad. Although we did have a, a huge amount of support on that rotation, right? Um, uh, both the uh, physical LR androids and 19 and 20 just completely drenching us um, in support type buffs. Um, Alright, I might just get... Like, like, I think we'll probably just do, like, finish out this run right here, and then we'll move into just sort of, like, the androids just sort of tearing through the red zone. So, um, let me know what you guys think of the the goat droids right here. 19, or not 19, 20, but 17 and 18 future androids, 17 and 18. Definitely a very powerful, uh, very good sort of, um, 
like Dokkan Fest that was dropped. Like, they're incredibly powerful. I love that both Dokkan and Legends basically dropped this character very, very similar times, and they're just as busted um, on, like, both versions, essentially. Both Dokkan and Legends, this unit is insane. So let's go ahead and see what, what we get. So we're going to get exactly eight orbs, which is what we want. They jumped up to 438k defense. They've got the Key Blast nullification um, if, you know, a Key Blast Super would be aimed at us. We have, you know, Android Assault. Um, what is that? That's Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, and Fierce Battle all activated. All right, let's go ahead and get this turn, and then we'll take a look at them dominating Red Zone. So um, let me know what you guys think of the Androids, but I think they're absolutely insane. Um, Ghost Usher, Nullification, right? Like, Sealing. Don't forget the healing they can do, right? If they get, like, if you're at very low health and you get, like, 10 tech orbs or something like that, you're going to heal, you know, 400,000 HP or something like that. Like, it, it gets ridiculous when there's a full field of tech orbs in front of them. Just an absolutely busted, ridiculous, stupid character is what this Dokkan Fest Future Android 17 and 18 really is. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. You get to perfect, and you're good. Once you get to perfect form. <laughs> perfect form, and he just goes real nuts. Um, that sucks. I don't that's not gonna one-shot us, is it? No, it didn't, but it was very close. Oh my god. Uh how much health do we have? Seven thousand or something? Yeah. Well, there's do they look good? They have, like, no links active. Actually, no, no, they do. They have Brutal Beatdown and Nightmare, I think, with second form, so. They're so so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to remember to clip that out for my 200% uh, showcase video on them. We got to make sure to clip that part out. <laughs> well, we lived. <laughs> we did it.